Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we're reacting to the TNT boys. This is And I'm Telling You at the World's Best. I am excited for this yes. because they're so young in these videos, but they're so powerful when they sing. And this is such a powerful song and I feel like they're gonna just nail it. Like, Listen was amazing and Listen is yeah. a powerful song as well, but. Yeah, this is coming off the heels of us reacting to them singing Listen on the same show. Mm -hmm. And in the last reaction, I thought I spotted Anderson Silva as one of the judges. Somebody told me, no, that's not him. Guess what? It was. It was. Guys, <laughs> I, know, I know Anderson Silva when I see him. He okay? said, I know my MMA fighters, man. Yes. I know him. I was spotted him immediately. Anyways, I'm just a little bit of, you know, I'm usually so humble. You guys know me. I'm a very humble person. I just had to brag a little bit that I was right. Yeah, you had to get that out there. And rub it on that person's face a little. No, yeah. Now you can let it let it out. Let it breath out. This is out. a positive channel, okay? <laughs> I'm not rubbing anything in anybody's face. I'm excited to see the TNT boys perform. That's all. Mm -hmm. That's that's what we're here for, yeah. okay? I'm so sorry. I got a little bit carried away there. All right. Oh Anyways, my goodness. As always, we have links down below. Go and support the official artist, the original artist, the original video. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where this is uploaded. This is uploaded on Cholo Padao's channel. So we will upload, you know, we'll include their link as well. Why not? Yeah. Anyways, thank you, Cholo, for uploading this so we can all see it. And thank you, Art, for bringing this reaction to us. Definitely. And boom, we're about to get into it. Let's do it. So little. I know, their ability to go high like that. Yeah. Like, it doesn't seem like they're hitting their peak even. Like, mm -hmm. it seems like they could even go higher. Oh, yeah. But it trips me out, their range mm -hmm. at such a young age. They have such dynamic range already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's so crazy. So much control in their voice, too, because they make it look so, like, seamless. Like, so yeah. easy. Like, it's nothing. Like, like it's nothing. Drew Barrymore's uh, reaction right there was yeah. perfect. <laughs> Like what? How? <laughs> okay, what? They got too much confidence. How the heck? It, it sounded like his voice was gonna crack and then it didn't. That was crazy. Look okay. at this! They, got, they have an incredible stage presence. I do. I love it. Oh, my gosh. They're so well, like, together, like, in sync. And I yeah. love that. Like, there's, that was so perfect. That was too good. That was so good. That was too good for real. 
What? It's it was so too good for how old they are. Like, what? That's not for fair. I never quite knew why you were called the TNT boys, and then I realized whenever you sing, you just blow the roof off the place. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. What did our American judges think? Oh, am I gonna love them? I already love them. Right. Yes. I didn't think, <laughs> I didn't think I could love them anymore, but my goodness, every note, pitch perfect. You boys are fabulous. Yeah. Seriously. They're so cute. Yeah. I can't get over how little they are. I think you're the embodiment of what this show is about. It is an all ages party and everyone's invited. Thank you. <laughs> I think we are all witnessing um, superstars. Yes, yeah. we are. I really do. Yeah. I don't, can I say? You have the kind of confidence nice that allows the are. audience to relax and enjoy your performance. Yeah. I just feel like the luckiest person in the world to yes. get here and yeah. sit here with yeah. Let's go to our, our vocal coach, Zoe. You've been excited about the return of these boys since they first auditioned. I've what told, did you think tonight? I've told everybody, the boys are coming back, the boys are coming back. <laughs> I am your biggest fan forever and ever and ever and ever. Oh your TNT, gosh. I don't know what that stands for, totally natural talent. Yeah. Oh. yeah. yeah. They're so cute. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> now, guys, listen, show business is tough. It's a hard room. I'm not sure if you won the judges over tonight. Thanks. <laughs> That's so cute. Uh, their outfits were amazing. I, I love those jackets. If I buy you a jacket like that, will you wear it? A hundred percent. Are you kidding me? Winning. If I we love could that. Only afford a jacket like that. <laughs> I bet you it's not that bad. But it, uh, it looked like they're so so shiny and sparkly. They nailed it. That was perfect. They're they're so cute. Like you said, they have awesome stage presence. They're yeah. so confident coming out with it. Like being so young and being that confident on stage to perform in front of thousands of people like that's a nerve-wracking experience but and they're they're synchronizing all together mm -hmm. at those moments they're playing up to the crowd they're mm -hmm. playing to the judges they're playing to the camera yep like they have such like they i don't know it takes a lot of talent yeah to juggle all of that yep. and hit the notes perfectly as well they're mm -hmm. they're really juggling so much yeah. in this performance right here and their nerves as well yep. juggling you're dealing with those nerves like, even if you're the most professional person in the world, I still feel like you have to at least have some type of thing that you do before you go out there to kind of calm those nerves a oh, little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Because um, even so, like, if you're doing something that you're passionate about, the adrenaline is going to hit you. Yeah. So along with nerves, that adrenaline pumping through your system, it's just like, <gasps> it's got to go somewhere. And so, like, to, to harness it and to focus it onto something and um, just have an amazing performance like that, that's just amazing to me that they can do that. Like, you're right, they play up to the camera and they make it look so natural. And their voices are amazing. They are. Each one of them have a, a, a specific, unique talent and then they come together and I just absolutely adore when they harmonize together that was so awesome like beautiful yeah, another good one they're too freaking good mm -hmm. they're too good um art did include the judges the like the reaction from the judges the voting mm -hmm. I should say um one thing about the world's best we're not very familiar with the show um we heard first heard it about it through Dimash reactions mm -hmm. and we heard that like Dimash left the show because he didn't like being put up against other kids so I, when I clicked on it, I did see that they were up against adults. So we don't want to like, we don't want to go there, mm -hmm. you know, really. We just want to enjoy this performance. Um, we understand that they won the, the voting from the next round. So that's great. Yeah. That's awesome. Good for them. Definitely. Um, it is a bit weird having a show like this to where kids go up against adults. Mm -hmm. Not weird for the kids. I mean, that's awesome that you're winning against adults. That's, yeah. That speaks to your talent. Um, but that's a bit weird. If I was an adult and I'm trying to show off all my talent, I definitely wouldn't be wanting to go up against like kids. It's, yeah. it's very weird, dude. I get I get why Dimash went off the show. And yeah. was just like, I'm gonna bow out from this. I didn't know I was up against kids. So yeah. that speaks to him as a person as well. It does. And it speaks to their talent to go up against adults and, and win like mm -hmm. that. I think, uh, you know, one, it's like how talented you are, but also like nobody wants to vote against these young men, you know? Even if the talent is equal, 
between both, it's like, I'm going to vote for the kids. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's, almost, it's kind of not fair it's to the adults unfair, a little yeah. bit. <laughs> um, but I'm sure they deserve the vote, even oh, yeah. outside of that. Definitely. But yeah, bringing it back to Anderson Silva, you know, I've watched a lot of sports over the years. And some people have to get like sports psychologists to help them because a lot of it is overcoming the mental aspect of this thing, mm-hmm. these things. And working with somebody to help you develop the skills to go out there and perform under the bright lights and for them to be able to do this so well at such a young age Mm -hmm. it's it's almost unbelievable yeah it's definitely incredible to see that like what when i was how old are they they have to be 9 10 11 when i was that i wouldn't even think about that even in front of my family you know like when you get your little skits together and you're like come watch me and then once the eyes are on me i'm like Never mind. I don't want to do this anymore. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I lied. I'm going to go back and play with my uh, Barbies. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Even just thinking back to the talent shows at school, like, I don't know. I'm not experienced in this field, but I don't know if it's more nerve wracking, it, like performing in front of a school full of kids that you have to see every day mm-hmm. or performing in front of a group of even more people but at least you don't have to see them every day right you know which one is more nerve-wracking yeah because you know these people you're gonna get made fun of if you do bad job on your talent show i think it's more of the intimacy for me i don't know what it's like for them but there's bright lights on you so it's almost like you can ignore them a little bit because you have the bright lights you can't really see everyone in the audience until the lights go up but I don't know, maybe that helps. It's a tool that you can use. I don't know. Because it's like when somebody's staring you in the face so intimately, that's a lot harder for me to do anything. When somebody's like can see you, you can see them. Yeah. But it just reminds me of like kids where you're like, here's your magic glasses, nobody can see you with these on, and they just get a boost of confidence. It's like they all have their magic glasses on without even having them on. Yeah. And they just have such confidence Mm -hmm. that you don't really see in kids their age. A lot. You do in performing kids. Mm -hmm. Kids that are performers, you see that. It's pretty normal. Definitely. But it's like, man, I want to see behind the scenes of how they got that. Was it their parenting? Was it, did they have to work with somebody after that once they got into the field Mm -hmm. of being a performer? Mm Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know. Or did they just come out and they were just like already performing? They're just, (laughs) I I got this. I didn't have that when I was that nope. age. I was so nervous about everything, doing mm-hmm. anything in front of anybody. Yep. So, yeah, I needed I needed a sports psychologist <laughs> when I was a kid. Yeah. That makes sense. I never think about that, actually, getting yeah. to have that, that teaching as well as the choreography and the vocal coaches and stuff like that. But getting to have somebody coach you on how to be in front of an audience. Yeah. I didn't think about that. It's little things you don't think about, but, man, it's, it's definitely a lot of work that they've put in to be able to do all of those things, juggle all of those things things and do them all so well you know so that was incredible though Mm -hmm. thank you art that was awesome another good one the world's best it's a cool tv show i do like it i like that uh somebody i'm familiar with is on it drew barrymore yeah you know grew up watching her so seeing her friendly face and just her reactions is very cool as Mm, well don't lie you're talking about anderson silva i didn't see him in this one i was a little (laughs) bummed out i was looking for him he was looking looking for him him. i knew he was i want to see him talk yeah. I want to see him talk. I yeah, want to right? see uh, him break maybe down. A, a Brazilian uh, artist come up and maybe he gets to talk in those ones. Ah, that would but be yeah, cool, actually. I know that he's like a good, he like does a lot of Michael Jackson impres- impersonations. Oh, does he? So yeah, with like the singing a little bit and All the right. dancing and stuff. I know he's <laughs> eccentric in that in that way. So yeah. I would like to see what he had to say during this show. Shoot, maybe he'd do a little yeah. performance. That'd be great. Yeah, maybe he would. I digress would. though. It's all about the uh, TNT boys. They nailed it. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> that was another really good one. And I I love being introduced to them so young because I'm sure they're out doing their own thing. They're yeah. grown now. So I wonder what they're doing now. But just seeing them come out the gate with so much power and their voices are amazing and their stage presence is just out of this world like the world's best is definitely a good title for them right now for sure seriously all right friends we hope you enjoyed that reaction and we will see you on the next one bye friends peace